Hello and welcome. It is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Today we are bringing you the Jury Detective Show, Episode 6. Hi. Hi. I am Tanya this morning. If I could introduce our guest today, because it is somebody I'm very excited about that's going to be on today. Uh, it's Karen Lebo. She is digging with Dirty Girl. She is somebody that I have looked up to for years and she <laughs> knows so much about jewelry and I'm just going to sit here and be quiet the whole show. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> she's my idol and uh, I'm just so excited about her being on the show today uh, and so excited about what she's going to bring to us to show us today. And Monica's here and she's going to be monitoring the chat and Tanya's here and Karen's here and yay. Sorry we're a little late. Yes, thank you everybody for um, sticking with us and we always love to see you guys in the chat. So Karen, how many pieces did you bring to share today? Um, I didn't count them. I think I've got right around 15, maybe a couple less than that. We can just, okay. you know, as many as we have time for. Okay, well, we usually ask that you start with your favorite pieces first, just because if we do run out of time, we wanna make sure we get those really good ones in first. Does that oh, sound okay. good? Yes. All right. Well, okay. Well, I, I did, um, I did wear the, um, piece of vintage jewelry I ever bought. This is kind of what got me hooked. It's not a very good camera, but maybe you can see it. I don't know. But, oh, that's um, pretty. I got this at a new sale in the 1980s. Of a, a box of junky, broken, horrible jewelry, and I was just digging around, and I saw this thing was completely <laughs> black. It's totally black. Oh my gosh! And I bought it. I think I paid dollar fifty for it. Oh wow! It up and I was so exciting. Is it a locket? I, it? I mean, it's a, it is a locket. It's, it's a sterling silver locket. Wow! It's beautiful. So, and it's cute. I wore it a lot, but anyway, so that's kind of, that was one of my very favorite pieces. Karen, is that what you call a book chain? Yes. Yes. See, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> like so I said, today's going to be a little different. <laughs> like, they're usually oval length strips of metal, and they're usually decorated. It's very Victorian. Do I have it too close or too far away? I can't tell. Maybe a little too close. You're cutting in and out. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah. That I'll, I'll really never part with that. Very pretty. Okay, so what next? Do I have stuff that I need to know more about? <laughs> <laughs> Is she breaking up a little? She is. She's breaking up. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. Well? Yeah, you can show us something that you want to know more about, but you know more about it than we do, I'm sure. I don't know. No, I'm, I don't know. Um, okay, so I this. Ooh. Oh, isn't that yeah. neat? <laughs> Uh, this was sold to me as sterling silver, but I kind of knew when I picked it up that it wasn't. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, mean, I, I I think it was an honest mistake. He had a whole case of silver jewelry. This was just one of the pieces, and I bought several things from him except for this one. I think he just didn't know or forgot or whatever, but um, dollars for it just because I thought wow. it was cool. Can you hold it up a little bit? Oh yeah. Is does it open? Is it a little purse or no? No, it's um. I think it's a. I think it's meant to be a necklace. Like a pendant. Yeah, it's just huge though. And I wow. was I I thought it might be Native American because that part these little dangles just kind of look like it, but I don't know. I really don't know anything about it. I bet it's some kind of ethnic 
like you know it, it just puts me in mind of something some kind of a wedding thing or a, or a a celebration kind of a something a custom for some kind of a another what do i want to say <laughs> another country <laughs> custom that they would wear it or adorn their costume with it or something yeah because it, it is kind of odd for a necklace yeah yeah so big Some kind of adornment what about do you think maybe it could be meant to hang from like a rear view mirror you're on something again <laughs> you're always thinking <laughs> now I'm, now you're going to be selling car jewelry right? oh, hey there you go <laughs> <laughs> Let me write that down. Car jewelry. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> or I thought maybe a, a, Pamela a said that it could be possibly a breastplate for um, a Native American uh, ceremony. They might put it on as um, okay, I was jewelry for say. yeah. And then somebody else said it could be a wall piece. That, that's oh. Yeah, I was thinking along that line, it's just some kind of adornment for some kind of a custom of somebody's ceremony, something. Yeah. Right. Karen, I was going to ask you, can you give like any of our viewers some, just a couple tips, quick tips about maybe how to identify the real silver when you're out in the field? Um, well, um, I always look for tarnish because real silver will tarnish and um if you have like a you can keep just a little white cloth with you and just just polish it just a little, little bit off black on the cloth it's probably either silver or silver plate oh that's a great tip yeah beyond that you just um you pretty much start to figure it out just from the look of it you know i'm not always right but usually i am how about this <laughs> How about this, like, um, Tanya, you, you were saying yesterday, I think it was yesterday, about your friend had told you about gold. On the back, it would be, you know, real gold is smooth. It wouldn't have right. those no uh, ripples. regular things on it. Uh, silver is like that, too, isn't it, mm -hmm. uh, Karen? You, you don't see any bumpiness or, like, you would with plating, but, but real sterling silver is relatively smooth. There wouldn't yeah, be would a, lot of, uh, a lot of areas of, uh, what I want to say, you know, irregularities. In yeah, the, I, it, you know, it depends on that. how they make it because there is um, cast. And if it's cast silver, it can have bumps. Okay. You know, yeah. A rough. Like but, it's but it's it's, in general, it is smoother. But see, like this is pretty smooth. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't it's know. really pretty. I love the butterflies. It's gorgeous. That is. That's really neat. I think he's really cute. Yeah. I'll probably make him into a necklace. Um, okay, so let's see. Okay. This is a this is another piece that I got this weekend. And this is it's really tiny. I'm sorry, it's gonna be kind of hard for you to see. But it's black, and it has a little gray, a silver inlaid greyhound. Oh, that's oh neat. wow! On cool. it. Is it enamel? I don't know. That's what I don't know. It's black. <laughs> hmm. I'm not good with black. I need to figure out how to find out what this is, whether it's plastic or like that. When you tap that, on it, does it feel like plastic or maybe glass? I don't think it's light. Um, How about the edges? Does it look like something was applied to the top of it? Uh, Pamela um, Blanchard is asking if it could be jet. See, I was, I was hoping maybe it could be jet. But I don't know how to tell. I have a hat. I don't know. It looks kind of plasticky where the pin is attached. I'm sure that you can't see this. It's too small. Yeah. I have a book here. 
I should probably have it open with me whenever we do these shows. Um, but it is, um, I, oh, here it is. Hang on one second. <laughs> I will tell you how we can test that jet. Um, well, let's read the definition first. It says it's a very lightweight black or brownish black material, which is a variety of the coal family. So, um, and then uh, it has a whole section here on the uh, black jewelry. I have to copy this and make a post of it in the jewelry group. Um, let's see. It says jet is hard. Jet is a hard coal-like material. It's a type of fossilized wood. Um, oh my goodness, and it says because jet is extremely lightweight, it was the perfect material for making the enormous locket, lockets, necklaces, brooches, bracelets that were popular in the 1860s and 70s. So you did say it was lightweight, right? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it, it could be, but I'm seeing a little bit mm, molded where the plast is attached. So I'm leaning toward um, plastic or enamel, but okay. It does. It has a um, C class. So I the jet is yeah. really really hard to find. Oh Real yeah, jet is. definitely. I think it is. But it's so cute. I paid a, a whole two dollars for this. But yeah, I, think I love it is that Greyhound. 1920s, but I think it's some kind of a plastic. So we have a couple Let's questions. Yay! Yay! So the first question is, Tanya, the, um, they want to know, Tanya, what book that was you were... Right, this is, this is a book, and I have it in um, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures, and it's pinned. It's How to Be a Jewelry Detective. Ooh. And this is by uh, C. G. N. Bell. G. N. Bell. This is an awesome book. I highly recommend it. I've had this book for years, and it has helped me so much. Ooh. Yeah. It's a good the book. Second um, question is that valuable. Yeah. Yeah, I think it could be valuable if you want to get an idea. Um, I would, you know, maybe go to eBay and uh, sort the solds from highest to lowest. And that would be, give you a really good idea of what it's going for. And then the third thing is everybody wants to say that Andy looks great and Chris, crystal clear. <laughs> Yay! Thank you. <laughs> I changed my top. Okay, I did. <laughs> well, her first top looked really cute too. Yeah. But they're loving the Harley Davidson <laughs> top, so I just have to throw that up. <laughs> So um, there's some more comments here in the chat. Uh, Pamela saying, yes, Jet is pretty hard to find. And uh, let's see. Honestly, Ophelia says, Texas Gal Treasures has a series of videos about identifying Jet and other black materials. So y'all might want to check that out, too. Oh, I missed that one. How to identify. Yeah. So what else do you have? Um, okay, so I have this in uh, cloisonne. No, is it? No, I'm sorry. Guilloche enamel. It's got this lady on it who looks like she's using her iPhone. Actually, it looks like a PDA because she has a stylus. <laughs> I mean, it's hilarious. Uh, and this is old, but um, I was just trying to figure out like where this is from or what who this lady is, what her costume is, and it, it's kind of little, so I don't know if you can really see it that well. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, it's very unusual. Sided, and it's the same picture on both sides, but just with a different color background. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I think it's so funny. That, it looks like she's using her. That her is style. funny. Yeah, which leads me to believe it's more of a modern piece, right? Oh uh, yeah, probably so. from the what eighties. Would yeah. have to be from the eighties, probably late eighties. No, late 80s. she's using a um. It's it's actually I think it's a papyrus. Uh oh, <laughs> sorry. 
<laughs> well, I should silence my phone too. <laughs> that was my home phone. <laughs> I don't know if it'll silence it. What kind of chain is it on, Karen? Is it oh. sterling? Yes, it's on a sterling chain, but, but I think I added the chain. So that's irrelevant. <laughs> I think a piece like that would be great for Etsy. Actually, I already have it for sale on Etsy, but um, I just don't, I wasn't able to identify like what I wanted to know was she Sumerian or Egyptian or Greek or I just, I wanted to know more about her. She was a character mythology or something like that. What kind of clothes so is she like, wearing? Is it like a dress or is it? A shirt and tunic. It has a also. There's a little child right at her skirt. Hmm. Yeah, so, it's, it's really blurry, so we really can't. Sorry. Uh, can you hold your hand out like this so we can like just maybe have you uh, in the background? <laughs> it's not yeah. coming in too clear. I, could you uh -huh. try to like block the light from the window? I don't have any curtains on the window, so I can't. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, <clears throat> maybe um, it, it is in my Etsy shop, so somebody, if somebody's feeling, go look at it there. You get pictures of it. And maybe see what it is. Yeah. Um, and speaking of your Etsy shop, why don't you? Would you? Do you feel comfortable sharing that out with everyone? It's it's a uh, vintage dazzle, all in word. Which is funny because Andy's shop is dazzled. I know, vintage. and I always get them confused. <laughs> we didn't know each other at the time <laughs> when we had. <laughs> nope, not at all. That's so funny. That's great. Great minds think alike, don't they, Karen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Karen, are you? Ex Exclusively Etsy, or do you also sell on eBay as well? A little bit on eBay. Um, most, legit, most of the jewelry I do on Etsy. Um, occasionally, if I have something that I just, I think it might be valuable, but I don't know how valuable, i at auction to see if it might, you know. Yeah, I was just talking about that yesterday. I do the same um, thing. Yeah. I, I put a lot of man things, things end up going up on eBay. <laughs> no, not a lot of jewelry. Yeah. Um, piece. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um. Okay, this is kind of freaky. Ooh, freaky. This. <laughs> this is a. I think it's a gold coin. It's a. $20 gold piece necklace. And I was just, uh, now I did not buy this. This was a gift. And I think it's hideous. I would never wear it. <laughs> but I can't sell it. <laughs> but um, it's kind of, you know, if I ever need money, I'm hoping it's worth a whole lot of money. But I don't know because I'm not really a coin person. Right. Oh, but, it's a um, coin. It is. I think it's a real, it's, it says Liberty 1928, and um, I think it's a real coin, but I, you know, this is I it American? Really oh, wow, that's it's interesting. Very neat. It's, got this, it's got an eagle on it on the back. I love coin jewelry, I love the coin charm bracelets. Mm. To me, this looks like something you'd wear in the 1970s, you know, if you were a, a man with a hairy chest. <laughs> <laughs> so if you didn't have a hairy chest that would be a no no be like yeah. sweet chest no no I don't know sweet chest might be okay I don't know <laughs> I guess I guess my question is is that a is it a real gold coin I don't even know it's pretty shiny for a real that, gold um, coin isn't it yeah, I mean, I don't even know. I've never, I'm not sure I've actually touched a real gold coin in my whole life because I, like I say, I'm not really a coin person. We need tall. Um, the frame that it's in is 14 karat gold. The chain is 14 karat gold. Does and the, the um, coin is. 
Does the center of the coin stick to a magnet? I don't think so. I got a magnet here, though. <laughs> Oh, wow. Karen, that might be like real gold, like Lottie said in the chat here. How much does it weigh? Have you weighed it? Um, it's very heavy. Let's see. Let me get my little scale here. Do you have a jeweler that you go to there where you live, Karen? Um, I do, and I probably should take it. Now. Yeah, I would take it and get that checked out. That's exciting. And the, the cool thing is, I have the cufflinks that match. Now, can you imagine wearing cufflinks this size? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait. So, <laughs> the, the pendant portion itself does it actually say like twenty dollars on it with a dollar sign? It says, um, "United States of America, twenty dollars in God We Trust." has on the eagle side is liberty 1928 sorry that's not that's some kind of little cipher it might be the artist though i don't know oh my okay. gosh i'm sitting here looking on uh ebay and if that's real it might be worth a lot of money it is 20, 21 grams Lonnie wants to know there's not chocolate inside of it. Right. I'm with you. <laughs> so I can't yeah. see all the intricate detail. Um, but I was going to try and pull some up here. So what? It, tell me again what it has on one side. It's says United States of America twenty dollars in God we trust and it has a eagle a flying eagle on it. What's on the back side? There's the eagle on the back. The eagles on the back on the front is the Liberty walking. Liberty. It's in great condition. It's really got a lot of detail and stuff. Um, <clears throat> let me screen share real quick and show you guys what I found on eBay. Do y'all see that? Does yours look oh, like wow. that? Yeah, kind of, yeah. It does. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> yeah, That's you might cool. have, like, a couple uh, house payments there <laughs> slaying around. <laughs> Good detective work, well, Tanya. I, <laughs> oh, thank you. Because I like since it, it came from my mother-in-law. Just in case you ever need money, um, so oh, I've never yeah. like really done a lot of research on it or anything. Just tucked it into a drawer along with the coupling and the matching coupling. <sighs> yeah, coupling. I know. But, yeah, and how much do they weigh? They probably weigh about the same or maybe more. You know, I wonder, I know cufflinks may be a different, they may be $5 gold pieces and not 20. I can't remember. I didn't get them out. <laughs> wow. That's exciting. Uh, that is, is kind of exciting, but I can't, I can't really sell it. I don't, I don't think I want to sell it. Yeah. I, she's given me so many pretty things. It's, you know, I, there's some things she gives me and she says, oh, I hope you get a, a lot of money for this. And other things she says, don't sell this. <laughs> Is that one of the things? <laughs> That's one of the things she said, you know. Said. So your sister, mm -hmm. does your is it your sister or your sister-in-law? She also gives you a lot of good things too, right? Yeah, I have two sisters-in-law that both give me stuff. There's one that she just likes to shop. And she has a tiny apartment and she has no interest in selling. <laughs> so um she had had the huge stockpile of stuff, and she just she sends me stuff so that she can buy more stuff. She's so amazing. I remember that like caftan that she <laughs> bought you. That oh, was so beautiful. Yeah. And she, she, you. she does. She knows just what to get too. Yeah. Yeah. As yeah. I was you thinking do. that too. She has a good eye for it too. You know, considering yeah. she doesn't sell it. Right. 
She just. I um, think it runs in the family. I think so, Andy. Of course, yeah. it's your sister-in-law, but still. <laughs> <laughs> from my from uh, her mother too. They're they're all the whole family. Very interested, except for my husband, who's not. He'd rather ride his bike. <laughs> yep. Into the next one. Yes. Okay, this is a, an interesting question for you all. <laughs> and it says, mm -hmm. I'll read you what the card says. It says, North Coast handmade scrimshaw hand carved ivory. Wow. Um, I'm thinking it's absolutely not legal for me to sell this. Yeah. Um, I think it came from the 70s. Little painted flower on it and I think it is um of a whale I guess so it's like whale tooth that kind of ivory where did you get that piece oh friend gave me a bunch of stuff I have like 10 boxes of it <laughs> I don't think I've ever legit came across some ivory yeah it seems like I did try to test a piece I found one time, and I want to say, is that the type of testing where you get a needle hot and you stick it in there, or is that something else? Um, I think you can do that, with because if it's plastic, it'll melt, and if it's ivory, it won't. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a shame you can't do anything with ivory, because it's I just know. kind of stick it in your drawer and shut it, and, you know, yeah. what are you going to do with it? It's right, just yeah. put it in your jewelry box unless you have someone just to pass it down to. It's just going to be an heirloom piece, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of a shame. It's, um, if you can prove, there's a weird laws, like if you can prove it was um, made before a certain date. And also, I think that Native Americans can sell traditions if it's, you know, one of their um, crafts which I think all of this stuff is, in fact, Native American made. But I don't know. A lot I of it comes from Alaska, and, right? So it's I always look at her. My... I'm sorry, go ahead. It's, it, it all comes from a place called Alaska House in Fairbanks. OK, I found the ivory section. So um, here's a section on ivory. I'm telling you guys, this book is so awesome. So um, I was going to look at the ways to test it. Um, it says, don't try to clean or bleach your, bleach your ivory pieces. Mm. Yeah, but I'm not seeing anything right off the bat. Anyway, I don't want to... I don't <laughs> you know, bog the show down with this. <laughs> well, that's okay, because I know it is ivory, so I don't have to test it. It's, it's all real stuff. That's awesome. Because I've got the boxes and the cards and everything original that went with it. Except that's no receipts. Amazing. So I don't know how old it is. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I could do something with it. Um, okay. Uh, what's my next piece? Um, Karen, everybody wants to know if you're in any of the Facebook jewelry groups. You know, I join them, but then I never participate. <laughs> she is an um, artist. Yeah, I just, I, I, you know, once in, a, once in a blue moon, go over there and, and look around. But I just usually, I don't have time. I just, I, I don't have time for the things I sign up for. So I usually don't do it. But um, I should, because I know it would be very helpful to me. Um, okay, so this is the next piece. This is a um, a hinged bangle bracelet like this, and um, it's brass and enamel, I think. And I was just trying to point it because I thought Mark. I was trying to figure out if anybody has any idea where it might be from. Asian or if anybody just age of it or anything. Is it etched? It's um 
received, I guess. It's like all the parts, it's black enamel and then the gold part is engraved. That's beautiful. Is it Asian looking? Or I thought not? it might be, but I don't know. You don't know. Are those weapons on there? I think they're flowers, aren't they? Are they flowers? The flowers. Oh, yeah, okay. it's like a vine with some little flowers on it. Yeah, it's a vine with some flowers. Pretty. I really, really like that. I bet you Princess Casserole loves it because she <laughs> loves bracelets. <laughs> I do know that. Actually, one. Are you going to try to list that, Karen? Or? No, I. Um, because I usually can't wear bangle bracelets because my wrists are like tiny, mm -hmm. but this one, this one kind of fits me. So that's nice. Yeah, I like it because it's black. I know. I like. And I would so wear I, that too because I like. Black. Yeah, I actually wear this one, and I don't even remember where I got it. I've had it a long time. That it's really so, pretty. So possibly yeah. Asian, maybe. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was leaning towards. You know, Asian jewelry is small too. Mm hmm Anyway. Okay, well. All right. Um, again, I think the subtle details of this again are gonna be lost on you. <laughs> um yes. Wow. It's a big I know it's a great big class. This is, I have turned it into a necklace. And um, it's just got this tongue class. Turns up, you know, I turned it into kind of a pendant, I guess. Good idea. But, but um, I was wondering what this material is. But it has a very slight pink to it, and it's got a flower carved into it. Wow, that's really nice. And this is sterling silver. Sure, the age of it. You know, I would say I don't. I really don't know. Could it be? Um, it could be really a site. Um, it's really cold. I would think it's, really it's some kind of an antique stone, huh? Like, is it rock crystal? It might be. It might be some kind of, you know, like a quartz. Is rock crystal quartz? Is that the same thing or not? I don't know. Mm, it I don't like it would be. think so. I'm not sure. No? Where is uh, Bonnie when you need her? <laughs> <laughs> right. I asked her yesterday if she was going to be here, but she ignored me. I guess that's why. Uh -oh. She's not here. <laughs> but, she uh, might be sleeping. I know that they have different, yeah, uh, yeah different times, over significantly different in the Netherlands. But that looks to me like something like, yeah, quartz or rock crystal or something. Is it? You say it's got a pink cast to it, though. Very, very pale pink. It's just almost clear, but it's just, you can see it when you put it up. That's, well, I can't. that's just a beautiful color. Do you think it's Victorian? Yeah, I don't know. I think it could be. It's It's got that kind of, you know, fancy detail to it. That's what it reminds me of. But I don't know. Then it could be deco, too. I don't know. Um. Yeah, that, um, Ben, yeah, I don't know. Ben, <laughs> that's why I'm asking. It's why I'm asking. Yeah, Ben <laughs> in the uh, chat is thinking it might be a quartz cab. Or a rose like crystal. Yeah. Rose quartz crystal, Deb Mitchell rose said. Quartz. Okay, yeah, rose quartz. I don't okay. know. Anyway, I have. Oh, I hope you're keeping it. <laughs> I, I, I'm keeping this. 
um, I, one of my jewelry guys gave it to me. If you're wonderful out of this, then keep it. So I have to keep it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Carla says it's going to be moonstone. Huh? Oh, moonstone? It's one of those things that I'm very mystified by. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I don't know. I can't, I don't even recognize it when I see it. Okay, let's see, what else? Well, beads that um, I'm wishing were amber. <laughs> but I don't know. It's, it's an older necklace. It's made on, it's strung on string. Uh, and the clasp is gold filled. It looks kind of multi-tonal. Is it uh, different different tones of uh, color? Yeah, it is. There's there's um, more gold ones. You know, stones are, are, are my weak area. I don't, I can't identify them. Yeah, me too. So pretty. So I tend not to even buy stuff that has a lot of stones in because I'm like, ah, oh, I don't know what it is. So I probably, probably just won't get it. Well, if you ever look at my listings on Etsy, I do a lot of, I think this might be such and such, but I don't know for sure. I mean, I just yeah. have to be honest if I can't. You know what? Right. I'm not going to say I do, you know. And I you think know, that is okay to do. I, I have done that too. I say, mm -hmm. I might say, I believe it to be silver plated, you know, or something like that. You know, as long as you say, you know, you're not sure, I think that's fine, you know. So, too, I mean, if, and if somebody ever got something and they said, hey, my jeweler looked at this and it's not, you know, I'd be like, like or I'll give you a refund or whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's no big deal. Yeah, you, you know, which you do the best you can. <laughs> me neither. Never happened to me either. Thank so goodness. <laughs> you said you thought it was amber, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. It says here on the um, web, it says amber is a type of fossilized tree resin, which is millions of years old. It comes in a variety of colors, the most common being a pale orange, the white, yellow, and green cherry red dark brown and black are also available too i had no idea <laughs> that's really interesting and one of the beads is like way off center it's so weird hmm. the beads they kind of have a um a crackly look to them and they're very irregular very uh they're faceted but the facets are not regular at all well, is um, it crackly looking? I didn't think it was crackly looking. I have no idea. You're just I like, need, oh, this one. <laughs> this one. I need to start getting with our guests before the show because I have a real amber necklace around here somewhere. <laughs> I do too. I'd love to show you guys right now, um, but I, I know it's not at my hand's reach right now. But I know there's different ways to test it. And one of the ways you can test it is, I believe, with the UV light. Um, do you have, have one of those? I think it'll like. I have one. I have one of those. I think it'll glow. Like a, black, a little black light, right? Yeah. A black light? I think it's like, yeah. 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 yeah I mean, okay. I just bought mine off of Amazon. So. Yeah. I got one of those to test Vaseline glass when I'm at the flea market. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, because it really fluoresces under that black light. You can tell instantly. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Carol, what does it look, do you know what it looks like when you put, what amber looks like when you put a black light on it? Um, I'm looking that up right now. It's, it's been a long time. Um, all right, let's see. Right, let's see. Do you know any of the answers to this, Angie? <laughs> I do not. I'm sorry. Like I said, stones are just my weak 
very weak point. I think um, I because I don't. <laughs> Scal Treasures has a video on Amber too. I know yeah. that Google search and she's popping up. <laughs> she does have a lot of. Uh, yeah. She, her videos are great. She, she tests things right there in front of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Deb Mitchell said Amber is warm to the touch. Yeah. Is it warm? Yeah, this is, this is not cold like a stone. It's warm and it's lightweight. So it's either, I think, it's probably fine. <laughs> While we're waiting, so it says a piece of bone that's made into a necklace. Like um, copper and silver overlay. And it's got this goat, I guess it's a goat. And I was wondering if anybody recognizes if that is from a particular tree. Mm, I do not. It's interesting. I, I, I've never seen anything quite like it. So it's out of, just a cute little. Out of the black light, I think that they will just like glow and like fluoresce, is what I'm gathering. Okay. So, yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about that. Like I said, I just have that one piece, and I haven't tested it in a long time. It's been quite a while since I've messed with it. Okay. We're done. I'll do the end of the group and report. <laughs> report what I found out. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> My light's downstairs. I don't have it handy here. But I said, anybody have any thoughts about Mr. Goat? So it's a goat? Well, I guess. Yeah, some kind of goat or a big horn sheep, maybe? So it's, could be Native American, could be, I don't know. Yeah, that's really interesting. It looks like it's, the design is almost a little puffy. Is it like puffy or is it? Yeah, it's, well, it, it does stick up. It's not, I mean, the, the metal is flat, but there's some thickness to it. So it sticks up. Did you get all these things at your flea market? Or are these things that uh, were given to you, or is it a mixture? Or? Uh, it's a common mixture. This, um, this is my, my friend that cleaned out her garage and gave me all the stuff. God, so much stuff that she would not. I remember before. some of the things she gave you. Oh my God, yeah. She, she gave me some gold. I know. So, yeah, this was, she gave me a jewelry box, and this was in one of the drawers. Oh, wow. Yep. That's really unique. Uh, yeah. Is it, is it cool? I really like it. Uh -oh. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Monica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave us alone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what you got, Karen? Okay, so I've got a couple of birds. <laughs> Another, this is like, I guess, a little flying bird. Those are so cute. Um, aren't they cute? I guess I pretty much know what these are. Uh, I think they're Bakelite. Oh, I didn't know. I was, I'm used to seeing Bakelite in like subdued colors, uh, mm -hmm. muted colors. I didn't, didn't realize they came in those bright colors like that. Yeah, we do. This is like um, butterscotch. Okay. And the red. That's really bright green. yellow. Now I and do know how yeah, to but I'm, not, I'm actually, I'm not 100% sure that they are, but. I'm now would that be cherry or what would you call the, the red one? Does that have a name? Mm, I don't know. Looks like watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So Karen, there, do you I have any CV Chrome polish? Any? Oh, I do. Actually, I do. So I never tested these guys. Hold on, I've got it right here. Yeah, I use like a Q-tip usually. Yeah, that was neat watching you test them uh, yesterday. Yeah, it's so exciting when it turns yellow and you realize you have real Bakelite. <laughs> yeah, I need to do that because I have some of that and I have some bangles to test. So. Oh, that'll be fun to do. a video on it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just have on a okay. <laughs> Drum roll. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh, I don't think they are. Yay! Bummer. Oh no. I thought you said they are. No. Is that coming off black? No. Mm. Not yellow. Oh shoot. What kind of a clasp do they have? Are they brooches? Yeah. Are like the they actually they're made in Denmark. Well that's good. Anything made in mm -hmm. Scandinavian countries is good. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. huh. or, they could still be um, loose site, right? Or maybe there's there, I guess, some kind of plastic acrylic. Yeah, I definitely think they're probably a vintage plastic. What kind of a class did it have? Was it a spring class for the sea kind? Uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, rolling rollover. Yeah, rollover. Okay. okay. Yeah, I would, you know what, have you listed those yet? I would sell those as a lot. What do you guys think? Depends on what they're bringing. If they're bringing a decent price, I'd sell them separate. That's a good point. <laughs> so big. It would look really cute on it like a jacket. Or on a hat. Yeah, yeah. I love those. Yeah, I think somebody will buy those. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm undecided. I kind of like them. I don't know. I might wear them. <laughs> okay. What else do I have here? I have a couple of bangles. Maybe they're celluloid, but I'm not sure how to tell. Let's see. What kind do you think that they are? Oh, goodness. Celluloid. Celluloid. Yeah, there's mm. some kind of plastic. And they're they're old, huh? Uh, but I don't know how old. There's no test for celluloid, is there? I don't think so. Well, celluloid is like a made from plant. <clears throat> I know so it's I think uh, flammable, isn't it, or something? Well, I think that it's flammable, and then I think they, they're making it out of something else that wasn't so dangerous anymore. Okay. But, and you're not, um, it seems like you're not supposed to put it with something, or it will ruin it. I hate to put out half information, but <laughs> I know there's something going <laughs> around in my head about you're not supposed to put it in with something. Or something will happen to it. It'll disintegrate or something. Huh. I have to look that up and let you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Way to go, Monica. Thank you. What'd you sell? I sold a juicy couture gold tone link chain puffy heart necklace and I had a like J charm so I sold it for uh $29.99 and then it was like four dollars shipping so nice nice cool. so let, let me see them up close again Karen please Those kind of look like the ones I had yesterday, huh, Angie? Do they have like little little uh, rhinestones in them or something? Uh huh. Oh, I didn't oh, see the rhinestones. Yeah, um, I thought I saw. Poor, my camera must really be cracked. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty blurry, Karen. Unfortunately. Sorry, I, I know it's, it's 
like the you know the whatever cheap on board so you said thing with the computer so. you um you did test like, those and they're, they're not baked light i have not done oh the, no they're i think they're the wrong color to be baked light they don't i'm here i'll test them real quick i don't think they are they don't look quite right now. I was wrong about the birds. Oops. Nah, they're not fake light. Maybe if you um, put them against your hand and hold them, hold them still, and so we can see them a little bit. Okay. And, and a little closer, Thelma says. Uh, can you tilt them a little bit so you see the stones maybe? Okay. okay. Yeah. They're nice. Uh, you can really tell they're old. Yeah. I bet they are celluloid. What else would they be? Yeah. I don't know. I, that's a good question. You know, if it's old enough and it's plastic, it almost has to yeah. be. Yeah. It almost has to be. Yeah. Uh, I would say. If it's not Bakelite, it, it almost has to be celluloid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I sent a crown. Oh, there it is. Don't let Muffin get it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. She's, um, she's sitting on my printer. She's so pretty. I love seeing the pictures of her on Instagram. She is. She's one pretty cat. Here she is. Hi, Muffy. Here's my little baby. Oh. <laughs> she's really know. getting to be a good girl then, is she? Well, she's, she's better. better. Good. She still has to. She's living upstairs because if we let her downstairs, she pees on things. I don't oh. know. Stairs? She's fine. And we have a gate at the top of the stairs, and that's her territory. <laughs> uh, I'm getting down to the new dictionary. Okay, I'm just going to show you this. I don't really have a bit about it, but. Um, I just thought it was really neat. And again, the detail is really going to be lost on you, but this is like Ooh. the tiniest seed beads I have ever seen in this oh, necklace. That's neat. And it's got like a little angel on it. This is another thing that my mother in law gave me. That's <laughs> so pretty. Really nice. And it's been, um, it's been restrung. A bit left over, so I don't know what the story is on that. It's got this really weird clasp on it. It's a tongue clasp, one of those kind that you squeeze, like mm -hmm. a little decoration on it. But it might not be the original since it was restrung. Yeah, I'd say it's probably not the original. It's awfully shiny. Is. And it's um it's not marked or anything. But it is it's strung on string, so even the restringing had to be, you know, like it's like cotton or silk string. Mm -hmm. So even, even that had to be some time ago. Now would that uh, uh what what era would you think would you think that would be the twenties? Uh I would say twenties. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Oh wow! Like fringe. Yeah, I love that fringe stuff. Yeah, I'm afraid to wear this. It's so so fragile. Look. Yeah, I wouldn't either. <laughs> I love the colors. I don't want to sell it. Very very. No, colors. it's so. It's like the beads are almost like peacock. iridescent. They're yeah. so pretty. I see that. That's really a nice piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even if you just get it out and look at it sometimes and just yeah. feel it. That's what I do. <laughs> right. That's what I do. Yeah, um, I do that too with some of my pieces. <laughs> I think, I think, oh, oh, there's one more piece I'm wearing that I was going to, this was the most unusual craft. You're never going to be able to see it. So the clasp, it's a, a, a fish hook clasp, but it's um, 
it's actually it slides in and snaps. It's got a little lock that like swivels over and locks on the inside of us. It's very, very complicated. Hmm. I don't this, you know, it looks kind of like a tennis bracelet or something. But I don't I have no idea the age on this. And I think silver. <clears throat> Excuse me. This might be amethyst. Okay. But, um, and it, it's got like edges. Ooh, that'd be pretty. So much attention to detail on this. Do you think it's old, or do you think it's like yeah. when the era when the um, tennis bracelets were in style, like the early '80s or something? It has a patent number on it. <laughs> oh, then it is old. Yeah. Definitely okay. old. Well, I, that's a little mysterious. The patent number says nine comma five. That makes no sense. That doesn't. <laughs> and it was so common. <laughs> That's really bizarre. That patent number makes no sense at all. Huh. Um, but yeah, the uh, of course I, you can't see it, but the engraving on the edges is very, very fine. It's like really detailed. So I'm thinking. Is it floral? Like, oh. Floral. Floral. Oh fl no, it's well, kind of, and it's just little scrolls, I guess, like um leaves okay but um is it hey, really no. Hmm? no it's silver oh it's sterling it's, i think it's amethyst but i don't know for sure could be something that could be glass but um yeah that look up the patent number on that is that another That's piece weird. you're going to keep, or is that, or are you going to sell that? I haven't decided yet. <laughs> <laughs> a while, and I haven't sold it yet because I like it. I wear yeah. it. <laughs> but you know, you can't keep everything. I know. Well, I, I do like yeah. Tanya. I keep stuff for a while, and then I sell it. Sometimes yeah, I do. I've worn it for a while. So, I don't know. I might be getting time to sell this. I've worn it quite a bit. Uh, it's kind of my style. I don't know. But yeah, anyway. Pretty. Yeah, I wish. Uh, I just have never seen a clasp like that before. Can we see it again? Yeah, it's. Um, okay, let's see. Let me get it open again. We can see the fish hook. There we go. So, so that's the, the little fish hook. So that just slides into a box and it locks, snaps closed, and then it has an extra little bend that closes over the oh. hook to lock it in place. It was very secure. That's unusual. It's really intricate. Yeah. yeah. And the um, yeah, the stones are. It's a closed back setting, and and they're not prong set. They're just set in. They're I imagine they're glued in. But anyway, it's very awfully nice awesome. piece. It is. And the, Nice. I have showed you everything. <laughs> <laughs> all my goodies, all my mysterious goodies. Well, I've got to say, you really brought an eclectic mix of all different kinds of things. It was awesome to see all those neat pieces. <laughs> oh, I just found one more. What, I just have a question to ask you guys. Okay. I forget what this stuff is. fire in it. Um, and I was wondering, like, who you can take that to, because there's lots of stone here, and that could be smoothed off. 
But of course, you know, it's not that valuable, so I wouldn't want to spend a lot of money doing that. But right. Love them. Okay. Is it a pendant? Yeah, it's a pendant. And it's probably Is it not. Cord? It's hard to. See. It's um. Oh God, what's the name of the stone? I can't think of it now. <clears throat> but it, it's kind of a grayish green, and it's got a blue fire in it, like like a moonstone or opal kind of look to it. It's very, it's iridescent and it's a, uh, <sighs> oh, that's just irritating. I can't remember the name of the stone. Yeah, it's really that pretty. One. I love the stone pieces like that. So you need somebody to kind of file it down and make it smooth or what? Yeah, yeah. I don't even know like who to look for. Because I don't know that a jeweler would do that. I don't know. You could ask them. They might. Yeah, they might know somebody mm -hmm. who specializes in the stones. Or maybe um, maybe I could like take it to a rock shop. Maybe they would. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. If I knew where a I rock shop I didn't know they had rock shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know one here. I used to go to one when I lived in Dallas. I used to go. Oh. Uh, not here. Okay, I really am done now. This time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. And I thank you. Thank you so much for having me. This has been so much fun. Yeah, it was an honor to have you on. Thank you so much really, for joining us. Really was, Karen. Well, uh, I've just been anticipating this for a long time, just to have you on. Mm -hmm. Oh, and before <laughs> I forget, Tanya, did you get my video that I sent? I have, and you guys be looking for okay. a video on my channel. All about Karen. I'm and sure you got it. Yes, that's oh, really? going to be published next week. Thank you so oh, much. <laughs> uh, we'd love to have you on again too, Karen. I mean, you have such an awesome collection of neat pieces. So you, well, you can come back on and school time. us. <laughs> time. Yay. Oh, good stuff, yeah. I doubt that. I know you, everything you have is good. <laughs> right. All right. Well, I want to say thank you to everyone who stopped by and joined us in the chat. We always love seeing you there. And again, thanks so much to Karen for joining us and my panel members, Monica and Angie. And we will see you guys. I believe we have a show yeah, next thanks. week. Do we? I have to check the calendar. Yeah, we do. Uh, but come and join the jewelry group. It's called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. And we always post over there when we're going to be having a show. It's always on Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Usually every other Wednesday is what we're um, striving for. So thank you so much for joining us, everybody. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.